All right, here's a quick tutorial on how to set up the exploded view. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is after you've finished up your C perch assembly, is you'll come over to this uh, option right here called exploded views. Okay, so what an exploded view is, I'll show you the example I put together already. Uh, looks something like this. It has all the parts separated from each other and then you can kind of see how pieces would fit into each other as well as all those parts. Uh, so pretty helpful in terms of for assemblies, um, how pieces, different pieces would fit together. All right, so again, in this button here, I'll say I'm done editing that one. Uh, we're gonna add an exploded view. So I'm gonna click on that. Uh, you have a editing explode view number two. Okay, and all we do is you select different parts so let's say uh, I'll start by selecting maybe these three. Okay, notice you have this triad manipulator out here, and you can click each section. If I want to move a certain direction, I'll move it out, let's say, out here. Okay, and then this little menu comes up. You can spe specify a specific distance. Uh, you can change the direction, things like that. Uh, you can even set up a rotation. So it looks kind of like this instead. Uh, so you can rotate it around depending on how you want it to rotate. Okay. Um, so in our case here, I think uh, translation works a little bit better. So this is kind of us showing that these parts are connected there. I can hit check. And you're going to do that for a bunch of different steps, right? So for the next one, I might want these two pieces to move. I'm going to select these two pieces, grab this, drag it out approximately here. Okay, and then I'll create my second step. All right, so I hit the check mark there. <clears throat> okay, after I've done all of these, again, typically speaking, for an exploded view, you want all the parts to be separate from each other. Uh, so as you can see from my exploded view number one, you know, I had 27 steps. So depending on how many parts you have to separate from each other, you'll have a decent number of steps there uh, so that all your parts are separate from each other. All right, okay, after you have all of your sections um, exploded so that they're separate from each other. I'll hit done for now. Uh, when I go back to my drawing, now let's, here's my assembly drawing. Again, you can see I have it inserted here. If I wanted to insert uh, a new exploded view, I come over to insert view. And now instead here, instead of the front default, I'm going to come over here to exploded number two. Okay, when it first comes up, and Oops. Let's see here. I probably want the isometric view of it. Um, it's still showing up here. Sorry. Is it still loading? Oh. All right. At this point, it should be the exploded view. Let me double check why. It's not showing up like that. Assemblies. Okay. And then I want to explode view number two. I think it's just taking a while to load here. But once it does load, there it goes. Okay, you can see that it has the uh, the two the two steps that I have exploded out, kind of shown there. It's trying to update the drawing. I think there's just a, a high resolution file. Okay, but once that's in there, you can kind of see there's my couple parts that I had exploded out so far. You would do that for all those pieces uh, as shown in the example there. All right. Um, Again, it's just taking a second here to get everything loaded, but that's the idea. All right. 